In the old days, the, the House of Lords was as powerful as the House of Commons. If you couldn't persuade the House of Lords, then they effectively had a right of veto. That progressively became more unacceptable throughout the 20th century because they are not and have not been an elected chamber, and therefore at the end of the day, they're not a democratic assembly. Uh, so what we have now is a situation where the House of Lords, the most it can do is delay legislation uh, for up to up two, one or two years. That's quite a power to have that power because sometimes the government is anxious to get legislation on the statute book and if the House of Lords is uh, disagreeing or blocking it, uh, then compromises have to be reached that are acceptable. Bills come to the House of Commons uh, predominantly. Uh, they are looked at in various stages, but perhaps not in their entirety. And then they reach the House of Lords. So the House of Lords is not duplicating what the Commons does. It is actually going over some aspects of bills which may not have been looked at at all. The House of Lords is, if you like, supportive in that the House of Lords scrutinises advises and makes changes, if possible, to the amendments that come from the House of Commons. The House of Lords is not a, is not a, a law-making body. It is a scrutinising, it is an advisory body, and it advises the Commons on some of the legislation that goes through the Commons in an attempt to improve it. And often, when a bill is being discussed in the Commons, comes to the Lords, the Lords makes some amendments to it, hopes to make improvements to it, then it goes back to the Commons, that bill, to look at again. Many times the Commons approve of what the Lords have done and will accept the amendments. Many times they will not, so they change it back again. Comes back again to the Lords, the Lords will look at it again. But at the end of the day, when you've had this toing and froing and the improvement of legislation, the Commons has its say, because the Commons is the supreme authority, it is the elected authority. But the relationship is there in this uh, bicameral chamber, bicameral parliament, and this is how it should be.